there. Um, Shane just asked me to to share a couple of uh, thoughts that I'd had uh, this week. That was all. So um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll begin. Uh, basically, I, I I suppose it started just by uh, by watching a um, a song by Sean Curran that just came out this week, or certainly the video was released this week. And at the end of the video, um, uh, Sean spoke about. Um, the reason why he wrote the song um, this year, apparently, you know, within within 2020, and um, he spoke about a uh, a big dome that's based over in Arizona um, to house um, plants, exotic plants, trees, all different things. But the, given the perfect environment to be able to thrive and grow uh, in this dome, and um, and after a certain amount of time, um, certain trees. Uh, reached a certain height and they would just fall over and um, it happened each time for every single tree at a certain height band they, they just fell over and it baffled the scientists to, to why this was the case and um, the, the conclusion that they came to was that the trees um, hadn't been exposed to, to winds and because they hadn't been exposed to, to the winds and the challenges of of, of, of the weather um, they hadn't grown the roots that were needed to be able to be stable uh, once they they reached a certain height and that just really 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 hit me this week um, you know this is part part of what a lot of us are seeing in, in our lives right now is that this year is challenging uh, for many of us and um, but you know it, it's almost like these trees where, where that wind that wind is blowing and it's given us an opportunity to actually um, allow our roots to be able to grow deeper and deeper into the love that Father God has for us, into his word. And, and sometimes we don't necessarily see that, that growth on the other side, but I just believe that, that, that for, for me and my family, that was something that I can take in the fact that you know this is uh, this is a, a joyous time in so many ways and that kind of leads with with another other pattern and something the lord showed me um this week um which was you know we, we, we all face those challenges um we've got in our lives and, and i don't in any way at all want to belittle the the challenges that that, that you face it's not not what i want to do um people have experienced losses and people have experienced all sorts of things and and, and, and diseases and things that challenges that they're going through in their lives but but you know to, to home in and, and focus in this area of, of the challenge in life um, or to belittle that or to, to make it smaller or try to make it seem smaller is not going to happen by by focusing on it and trying to find solutions in it and through it the only way we do that is by locking up um, G Jesus said that um, that when, when, when Mary and Martha were in the room, that, that Mary found the one thing that was needed. And if I was to tell you today, there's only one thing that you need. Um, I'm sure there'll be a list of things that you could write on an A4 sheet both sides. But actually, Jesus is saying to us, there's only one thing that we need. And it's to seek him, to look to him, to focus on him, spend time with him, ponder him, consider him, consider everything that he's done for us. Um, and as we do that, the the uh, the focus that we have this this love of god and this understanding that uh, who we are in him just grows and grows and grows and of course the problems still remain here the challenges still remain but they just don't become so significant so focused so in the middle of our life and that enables our father to be able to 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 make changes and and, and change situations for, for for the good in so many ways it enables those roots to be able to grow it gives us that better stability that knowledge of no matter what situation we find ourselves in as paul said you know that, that, that you know when he's sitting in jail he's learned he's learned he, he's spent time with the lord to know that no matter what situation whether he's in feast or whether he's in famine that the the conclusive point is that he's found that rest and that peace the other area is how we look on this year um it's just so clearly spoke to me i mean i say to the boys every morning um this is the day that the lord has made and we will choose to rejoice and we choose to be glad in it and the boys shout out glad in it at the end and you know i see so much um talk about 
you know, desiring 2020 to be over and bring on January 1. Um, you know, again, I respectfully um, say this, but, you know, this is a, this is something that the Lord clearly put on my heart was that this is the year that the Lord has made and I will rejoice. I will choose to be glad in it. And that's not waiting for tomorrow. That's right now. Grace is for today. Father God has given us everything that we need for today. And, you know, we, we have to operate in today. And today is 2020. Let's not wish out this year. Let's not hope that, 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 that you know, 2021 is better. Let's just say, Father, that this is the day that you've made. This is the year that you've made. And I choose to rejoice and I choose to be glad in it. Love to you all.